Yo, what's up, guys? It is Ben, and welcome back to another video today. Chef Wentz vs. Nightmare Forest. Now, um, as you may see, I'm not actually in my house. I'm in Wales right now, so I'll be following the coverage on BBC Sport, whatever, like, news outlets and, like, live scores, so I can see, and we can see, but I'm not actually going to the match. So, I don't actually know how the players play, but, um, yeah, score prediction. I think it's going to be 2-1. I think should be Forest um because they've been bad recently they can't win away and they lost to rotherham and rotherham um to be honest they're not too bad of a team actually but that's why they might i think they might get one goal but i think we should win this <coughs> uh, hooper's in form he should play and fletcher the deadly duo up top as i said before i love them they were great against Villa, but sadly we couldn't win. Even though we did lose to Villa, we played very well, so that's why I think we're going to win this game. And uh, yeah, it's also like, you know, we're two teams around the players, but I'm pretty sure player hopes are over now because of that loss against Villa. Because that really did uh, kind of mess up our season, but we did play well, so it should be next season we get the playoffs, hopefully. Anyway, um, yeah, as well as my prediction, I've also got a Forest fans view on this. Uh, Tricky Trees TV has uh, kindly come on the channel and I'm going to give his score prediction in his views now, so take it away. Right guys, this is my score prediction and my preview for the game on Tuesday night between Sheffield Wednesday and Nottingham Forest at Hillsborough. Getting into it, you know, it's going to be a very tough game. You're a very good side. Obviously, you did lose on Saturday against Aston Villa, but I've spoken to a lot of Villa fans and a few Sheffield Wednesday fans from my school, and they've said that you did not deserve that loss. You know, Steve Bruce is coming in. I think he's done a really good job. You're a decent side. You've got some great players, including Gary Hooper, you know, Forestieri. I don't know where he is these days, but, you know, you've got some good players. So it's going to be a tough game. Us, on the other hand, we're not doing very well. Marston and Neil is really at fault. We're so negative. We just play Hoof football, and I'm not enjoying it at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go with a 2 0 win to Sheffield Wednesday. I think Gary Hooper's going to get both goals you know you're just too good for steve bruce is a great manager plays nice football so yep yeah, you're gonna beat us uh, and yeah mass thank you for having me on the channel as well uh, and yeah come on forest don't let me down so his view is quite negative on forest he thinks they're gonna lose two nil so i hope that happens to be honest i'll happily take that because that'll do as well obviously he's probably not too happy with forest and not happy with their uh martin o'neill their manager but yeah it's not so good for Forrest. Hopefully, we can benefit off that. And uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get straight onto the match. And um, before that, we'll check the lineups. This could be make or break because the lineups could be so bad. Because Bannon's injured. Like, oh, Bannon's like the middle part of our team. And I think someone else came off injured as well. I can't remember. It was I awful, wasn't it? Oh, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's could, this could literally be such a crap team, but we'll, we'll see. Oh my god, what I tell you guys, Jesus Christ. So, yep, in goal we got Westwood, obviously. Now, right back, Palmer's playing in his natural position. Left back, we got Fox. Oh god, I offer is obviously injured, he's not playing. Um, Lees and Hector are the defenders. And then, oh god. Then uh, I think it's Matthias on the wing, on the right or the left, I'm not sure. And then Boyd on the other wing. Jesus Christ. I know I know Boyd got the assist, but for the rest of the game, he didn't play that well. So I think I'm allowed to critique him. Reach, good player. He's playing in the midfield, though, uh, with Pelupacy and Banner's injured. And then Fletcher and his Shao. What is this? It's like a vomit. Like... Like vomited all over the lineup, like he ruined it from Villa. Not happy why Zhao is there because Hoop wasn't injured unless he got injured before the game. That's not very good because Hoop is like one of our best players at the moment. He's playing so well. What that makes it. And I've just scrolled down to look at the subs, and Hooper is on the subs. So Winnell, Thornley, Hooper, Atty, uh, Dawson. Lazar. So apparently Lazar's back from injury. I mean, I understand I'm not playing. I'd really like him to play, but obviously he's probably still a bit injured, so we need to rest off on the sub bench. And then Forestieri. I think Forestieri should be starting over as Yao, even if Hooper is a bit hurt or like tired or something. Because Forestieri hardly played on Saturday. But wow, that is that is really mesmerising that lineup. 
hopefully we can win <laughs> I don't know uh, yeah let's just get into it I'll cover the goals and everything Jesus so the half time is nil nil let's take a look at stats not too bad it's very even here Sheffield Wednesday my team probably taking domination I'd say just because we have a bit more possession and a few more shots so yeah that's it for the first half I just hope things can actually get better from what it looks like from the match stats it doesn't seem like it's such a lively game at the moment hopefully it doesn't liven up though if it already has then liven up even more I don't know right guys the second half has started let's see how it goes just I recorded the intro to the second half oh my god straight away the time it's 47th minute Jesus hopefully we can get more now and just put this game to rest because we need to win this and obviously we can win this now we've got the first goal come on let's go here is the goal guys it's an absolute wonder goal for Matthias just bangs it keeps off his line it just goes in oh lovely how far like 30 40 yards Jesus hey guys I take everything I said back <laughs> Matthias and Boyd, I may have slagged them off for starting, but <laughs> they've both got goals and they're both making us win 2 0 against Forest. Jesus. Right, I don't even know if they played good or not. Um, hopefully, they have played well, so um, credit to them for scoring both of the goals. Between them up, come on, Wednesday. Maybe another one? Question mark. Eh, I hope so. This one is a superb goal. Nice header down from Zhao, I think. Just rifles it straight into the bottom corner. Boyd, what a player. <laughs> I may have slagged him off, but he's really done well with that shot. That's a superb goal. And it's another goal from that man, Matthias. 3 0. Looks like we're going to get another one. We're going to bat Forest now, probably. And I'm pretty sure this game's dead and buried. And we've won. Ugh, I can't speak. But it was Matthias' second goal. A lovely. Back heel from Zhao and Ty's finishes it off in. Lovely. Right, guys, it's full time. I'm so happy we won 3 0. That's lovely. That'll do well for us in our season. And uh, yeah, good to get a win and um, make up for the, the terrible loss we had against Aston Villa, where we did play well and I think we did deserve something from it. But anyway, yeah. Uh, let's get on to the outro. I didn't actually go, so I don't know what the game was like, but from what I've heard on Twitter, Boyd was probably man of the match, which is quite surprising, because I, I don't really want him to play, you know, but maybe we're going to have to play him more now, and people are saying that Matthias should get a contract as well, got two goals. He was pretty solid, so, like, maybe we should start playing him more, I'm not sure, but um, maybe it's because the Nottingham Forest were very, like, kind of off-form side, and they can only win at home, but... It might be because of that, or it might be because, you know, we never knew that Matthias and Boyd were so good. <laughs> anyway, um, just happy we won. Finally, like, a really good win, like a 3-0 win. We've been waiting for something like that for quite a while. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please, please do smash a like down below. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe, Nine Forest fans, and new Sheffield Wednesday fans if you're new to my content if and if you like it. And so just please just go down and hit it. And uh, yeah, I'll leave your thoughts of this game. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.